brothers and sisters we are here again our children of God weekly to pray as usual so let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. We have that our Father is in heaven, not my Father. Last week, I tried to show briefly what it means and how we have actually Prayer has actually affected you positively. Have you made any effort towards learning it, studying it, practicing? Which I'm trying to know. Well, go through it, but I always section. I say we live from vocal prayer in grades. If you want to do meditative prayer, reasoned meditative prayer. In vocal prayer, you don't think. You don't reflect. You just voice out what already is in you. Don't need to think much to say it out to the hearing of others around you. But that of vocal called reasoned application. Application of your mind to some supernatural truth. So in order to penetrate its meaning, Love it and carry it out into practice. Present application of the mind to supernatural truth to be able to eke out the meaning and then love it. An instance is when you Maria was told to that this your child shall be a source of the fall or rise of many in Israel. You see, it is the source of the fall. This child will be a sword that will pierce your heart. She kept on reasoning about it, thinking about it. She was meditatively praying on the word of God. Reason. 
is a reasoned application. intellectual and the other is affected involvement of the intellect so as you approach it to things you are seeing to some word in the scripture to pictures or portraits So, this uh, today, uh, the way to meditate, before meditating, one has to select the most suitable method since the soul has not yet known how to move in the spiritual. travels. So in the spirit, we can also do that. After all, man is half spiritual and half human. like confessing your sin before we start today i would like us to confess our sins too so that we do this kind of prayer you see it when you are meditating, you are thinking, you are reasoning, you are applying mm -hmm. your intellect to penetrate what you are reading. You see? Here we apply the imaginative representation of materials or reflection. God, you have said to me, let him, you are handing everything over to him. So, in this kind of prayers, you can distract you. Uh, duration it can't be too far, too long, otherwise it becomes boring. And when prayer becomes boring, short or long, few minutes, an hour or so. Like Jesus spent almost 10 hours. There is no noise where you can not be distracted by buzzing cars and sound and people and howling and bowling in the market. There will be a time for you to have a long filtered brain. So, posture can be anyhow you would want to be most comfortable. It wouldn't be, uh, you know, would want to kneel down and yet discomfort yourself. Wouldn't be a situation whereby you can uh, say you want to sit down and then get distracted, or want to lie down and then you sleep off, and then you want to just other things. It has to be a posture that is very comfortable and encouraging. 
the need of meditation cannot be over emphasized because many are a living state of sin. Through meditation, you can purge yourself out. That is purgative. This also helps in purgative life. You can purge, purge, to, to enhance yourself from certain things in your life. It is true meditation that one does that. At that level, you purify yourself. So, we can see that in most cases, when we had attended a retreat, there is usually a remarkable improvement in our spiritual growth. So, meditation hour is often a short, a short kind of retreat you do to yourself because you have to, to go inwards to see yourself. As we see, uh, it was Plato and Aristotle who said, unexamined life is not worth living. Yeah. And also that a man, the strongest man on earth is he who conquers himself. And you cannot conquer yourself if you've never recoiled inside to think and then purge out those noisy things and those areas that are very poignant to you. So at this point, when you finish this kind of, you thank your God because it's a kind of search. You do search in yourself and search on what you see, search on the Word of God. Search, the mind moves, hops into areas and kicking out and picking up and uprooting those things that do not give coherence. When you finish, you can now enter affective prayer. Affective prayer is a kind of by Effective prayer. So let us let us do meditation and ask the good Lord to be in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We have come to pray. To the Lord, we have come today to pray to God. We have come today to pray to God. We have come today to pray to God. Lord, we are asking for forgiveness of sins. I know in Daniel 9, Daniel prayed for the forgiveness of the sins of his people. I am also praying for the forgiveness of the sins of my people all over the world. We have erred. Father, some of us have made fatal mistakes in one way or the other. These fatal mistakes, some of them recoverable, some are irreparable. Like that of this sin of Samson the Strong. He made a fatal mistake and lost his eyes and lost his dead and when he prayed he was not people all over the world
capital sins. Your goodness and mercy of sin in our lives. Remember that Samson prayed. Archless hair. My archless is the leakage of the fruit to evil. You don't tell evil. The evil is evil. You don't give the devil opportunity. Father, we have given the devil opportunity. Reinvigoration, rejuvenation. Some are living in an unsaintly life. Some are living in a squalor. Some are living in a state of demonic influence. Some have lost the sense of divinity. Some have lost the sense of humans. Some have lost the sense of shame. Some are doing some dreadful thing, even where the senses, the fools, tread on the shores where the angels dread. Some of us human beings. The hour we ask for forgiveness. The hour we ask for forgiveness. So that we know what is obstructing us. When Daniel after prayed, you see, something begin to work on. David committed atrocity and prayed in Psalm 51. And God washed him with his soul. We are, the other, we are asking God to regrow our dreadlock. going to navigate through the prayer tell him that you are sorry close your into a mud road and begin to clog down the wheels of the chariots. They could no longer move forward or backward. They were rather rotating around in the middle of the ocean of death. Mm. Like some of us, we have committed atrocities. We have committed offenses. We have committed abominations. We have committed taboos. It is this hour we ask God for redemption, forgiveness, that kind which he did on the cross. 